ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hi, you've clicked on the Weather Extreme video from ABC 3340. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with you. And boy, have we got an active weather day or in the next 36 hours in store for Central Alabama. So let's get right to it. How about our Clanton Skycam this morning? A little bit of uh, low clouds. Uh, not so much uh, visible down there at Selma, but uh, still a little bit cloudy. And the weather, uh, or the river, rather, very calm. And a little bit of sun actually showing up at uh, Hamilton as we look off over US-78, the future I-22. We have an east-to-west boundary running across the southeastern U.S., and that's going to be the focus for some interesting weather today. At 500 millibars, we have a fairly distinct trough coming in from the Rockies, and that will be sharpening up and uh, becoming a, a big player in what we expect to see happen today. Temperatures across uh, all of the country relatively mild and, of course, very, very warm. You can see that east-to-west boundary running across the southeast as, uh, as we see 70s along the Gulf Coast and 50s uh, just to the south of the Ohio River Valley. A little closer to home, one of the things we focus on, of course, is dew points. Notice Nashville, a dew point of 52. Birmingham, a dew point uh, of about uh, 66 or 67, uh, mid, upper 60s in uh, central Alabama. So uh, the front lying across the area, and that could be the focus for some uh, weather today and uh, po the possibility of maybe uh, some discrete supercells and long track tornadoes. Here's the uh, QPF for the next five days and of course uh, most of that coming uh, more than likely tonight and early uh, on Sunday. Storm Prediction Center outlooked uh, moderate risk uh, from about Columbus, Georgia uh, westward all the way over to about Shreveport so uh, including places like Birmingham, Anniston, Tuscaloosa, Jackson, uh, Monroe, uh, Memphis, uh, Little Rock, so lots of area under the gun. That area shifts tomorrow uh, over into Georgia and South Carolina and encompasses a little bit of uh, east central Alabama. We'll see how that pans out. Let's go ahead and get to the models. Here's the 06E GF model uh, run, and this is uh, for today at midday, and there's our trough uh, coming uh, out of the Rockies uh, on the eastern side of the Rockies, and uh, that uh, will help to uh, induce a surface low uh, over Kansas and Oklahoma. Uh, not a particularly strong low, but uh, this is for tonight around 1 a.m., and there's that very sharp trough. And also notice the little vorticity center over central Alabama. So we've got uh, kind of a complex pattern there, and that means that we're going to see the low move up uh, to uh, a little bit to the south and southwest of Chicago with a trailing front down into Mississippi around midnight. So it looks like our main weather will come tonight. However, because we have a very moist air mass, we could see scattered showers uh, and maybe a few strong to severe storms this afternoon. Let's take a look at the, the uh, Cape, and here's the Cape for tonight around uh, 1 a.m., and you can see that we've got uh, very high values, a little over 2,000 joules per kilogram just off to the west and helicity is also very very high as we see values uh, well over 200 uh, just to our west at this particular time so indeed uh, we are in for a quite an active night and uh, as these storms develop uh, they may actually uh, form into clusters and a squall line and we may actually see the possibility of some derecho events but because of that boundary line across the area uh, there is a strong potential for long-track tornadoes, so this is certainly a day to stay apprised of the weather, and especially tonight and early Sunday. By Sunday at midday, the trough is now uh, sweeping through, and that should uh, clear us out by midday, uh, clear us out of the rain at least, and any uh, threats of severe weather. By Monday, the storm system is well uh, long gone and looks like a good dry uh, Tuesday. On Wednesday... Uh, the GFS is developing a trough over the southwestern United States, uh, and that's going to keep us in kind of a southwesterly flow, and that's going to keep us moist for the latter part of the week uh, as we look at uh, 
The forecast for Wednesday looks like the possibility of some showers. And then again on Thursday, as we continue to stay under that southwesterly flow, by Friday you can see that uh, the GFS is more or less parked that trough over the southwestern U.S. And with that southwesterly flow, we're going to continue to see the threat of some showers and, and uh, scattered thunderstorms. And that southwesterly flow, the trough gets a little closer on Saturday, but the southwesterly flow continues, and that should keep us at least into a scattered shower regime. So an active weather pattern today. Let's go out into voodoo land very quickly. This is the 22nd of May, and another big trough uh, in the middle part of the country, and that bringing another a strong surface low up around the Great Lakes with a cold front trailing into the southeastern U.S. and providing another wet day, which, of course, uh, with the drought we had last year, we can always use. We appreciate you staying tuned to ABC 3340 for the latest weather information. We'll be uh, staying on top of it, uh, so be watching 3340 for the latest weather information as warnings are issued uh, possibly this afternoon and especially overnight tonight. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great Saturday, and please be weather safe.